Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I'm hoping today's video will be more educational than controversial. I know that I've learned a lot doing the research for this video, but I also still have a lot of unanswered questions. It all started when the New Zealand-based company Unreal Puzzles launched a contest. They use AI-generated art for the images on their jigsaw puzzles. For the contest, you submitted a prompt, a word, phrase, sentence, or paragraph, whatever you wanted, and they would use your prompt to generate an image. After they closed submissions, they posted all the AI-generated images, and people voted, I believe it was for their top three favorite ones. And at the end of voting, the top 10 images became part of their first edition, You Say It, AI Makes It collection. Now I submitted a prompt, and we'll discuss more about that later. And thanks to everyone that supported me, my prompted image ended up in the top 10 and was made into this jigsaw puzzle. Now I have to say, some of the Unreal Puzzles images are amazing. And my favorites are the colorful, like gradient block style ones. I just, I just love them. I naively thought that AI generated art was created by some crazy high end code, which outputted new original digital art and that the only controversy with it was the worry that people would stop creating art, that AI art would eventually surpass human-made art, which is still very much a valid concern. Now, discussing this further with my hubby, he looked at me and was like, no, dear, that's not how AI art is generated. And he said three words to me that opened up this can of worms, artificial neural networks also known as ANNs. And I know artificial neural networks because I use them for my master's degree research. And then I had a ton of questions, some of which I feel aren't still fully answered. As of recording this and researching answers to all my questions, this is how I now understand AI art generators to work. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I can always make an updated video. And also, if you're watching this video maybe in a year's time, things could have changed drastically and none of this may still be relevant. Now, you need to train an artificial neural network for it to learn. So in this case, if you want the algorithm to learn what dogs look like, you need to give it, give it various images of dogs, label them as dogs, and then the algorithm will learn what a dog looks like as opposed to a cat, for example. You could further label those images as cute or big or shaggy. So the network could learn what a cute dog looks like versus a big dog or shaggy dog. You could also have a cute, big, shaggy dog. <laughs> My first question was, where are they getting all the images of dogs to train the network, to train the algorithm? Now, from what I can tell, they just scour the internet for images and use them. So if an artist drew either by hand or like a digital artwork of dogs, they could have easily downloaded and saved those images and used them as input to train the artificial neural network. Okay, so they're using others' artwork to train the algorithm. Is that legal? Is that moral? Those are some of the questions I have. But wait, once the algorithm knows what, say, a cute dog looks like, because it's learned it from all those images, how does it actually generate a new image of a cute dog? This is a difficult question to answer because I found conflicting responses and it really depends on whom you ask. The worry and controversy is that the algorithm then uses either parts from the images it was trained on to mash together a new image, say of a cute dog, or maybe even grabs parts from a new database of internet acquired images to mash together something to create the new cute dog image. Now I did go to a website, they are an AI generator, it's hypotenuse.ai's website, and they explain that this isn't the case, at least for their generator. They use what's called diffusion models, which this is in quotes, I've taken this directly from their website, are trained on hundreds of millions of images, each with a caption describing the image in words to learn the relationship between text and images.
So at least I got that right. They definitely need to give images to the algorithm, associate it with words, and then the algorithm learns things like what is a dog, what is a cute dog. Okay. They further go on to explain that, again, this is taken directly from their website, diffusion models don't just modify existing images. They generate everything from scratch without reference to any images you might find on the internet. That means that if you ask them to generate an image of a dog, they won't just find an image of a dog and then add some details to it. They'll create the image of a dog from scratch based on their end understanding of what a dog is. Hmm. Okay. Do all AI generators do this? Do some, in fact, mash together other people's artwork? And if they do, then you get into like copyright laws and oh boy, I, I don't even want to go there. Is the artwork altered enough that it is legal? Is it copyrighted in your country? What are your country's copyright laws? And, and on top of that, with AI generators, I read somewhere and I wasn't able to find the reference again, but it could be that AI generated art cannot be copyrighted, at least by some copyright laws in some countries, because it wasn't a human that created it and there's no current copyright laws to protect AIs. So honestly, I don't know what to think or believe anymore. And I'm the type of person that can easily feel guilty about something, even if I didn't do anything wrong. What's interesting, though, is that recently Getty Images has filed a lawsuit against Stability AI. They're the creators of Stable Diffusion. They're being sued over alleged copyright violations. Stable Diffusion is one of the generators that Unreal Puzzles told me they use. At least they used at the time when they answered my question. Now, I'll leave a link below to the article that talks about the Getty Images lawsuit if you're interested in reading it further. This will be very interesting and telling, and I'm, I'm quite curious to see the outcome of this lawsuit. So let's talk about this jigsaw puzzle in my prompt. First, the box is quite small. It does come with a little poster insert, which is actually quite small as well, but the puzzle does only have 285 pieces. They're pretty thick pieces, but they ended up being very loose fitting. I did have some issues with false fits. Um, the dog part area could be a bit tricky, and I definitely wasn't able to pick up this puzzle. There was a good variety in piece shapes, and they were on the larger side, which I don't mind. However, the price right now to order this jigsaw puzzle is $49 US, which I find to be a bit pricey for the quality of the puzzle, as well as knowing that the art is AI generated. It does, I believe, include free shipping though. So now what was my prompt? My prompt was precious puppies playing with purple puzzle pieces on plump pillows in a picturesque pansy pasture. Alliteration at its best. <laughs> yes, the puppies look precious. No, they are not playing with the puzzle pieces, which is what I really wanted to see. No, they are not on pillows, but the puzzle pieces were made into pillows, which I actually liked. And no, I don't think those flowers look like pansies. And also, the items added, for example, the birds in the sky, that, is that supposed to be a bird? It does not look like a bird to me. And this dog's paw looks a little wonky, but look at this fella over here. I mean, where is the face? And the other thing I noticed, I felt a little disoriented putting this puzzle together because it felt, so, felt like the shading. And like when you look at something, you look at it from a certain angle and you draw it from that angle, but it felt like one jigsaw puzzle piece was being drawn as if it's being looked at from multiple angles and so logically it didn't make sense to me. I'm not sure if that's coming across but I felt disoriented trying to put the puzzle together. I've seen now many examples of AI generated art and it appears to work better when only a few words are given for the prompt. If you really are looking for something more specific, or it's much more difficult for the generator to give you exactly what you want or are envisioning. My final thoughts, 
This is not a knock on Unreal Puzzles. I don't want to see any company go out of business. They jumped on this novel idea and many people are using AI generated art. AI generators are here and they're here to stay whether we like them or not. So we have to adapt to them. That includes text generators. I would like to see artists asked if they want their work to be used in these generators and paid accordingly. You could even ask an artist to give you, say, 10 images of dogs, make some cute, some shaggy, some big, some sleeping. And then perhaps you would have a better training database because the artwork was made to fit the qualifiers and labels you want to associate with them, therefore producing a better output. I don't know if companies charge money to use their software. Maybe some do, maybe some don't. But if they were to pay the artists appropriately, then people would maybe have to pay to use the generators. Free is the best price, but it's not always the right price. I love original art, and I am more of a fan, I will admit, of like physical art over digital art. Our house is covered in puzzles and original art pieces, some of which I've shown on this channel. Currently, I don't think AI generators compare to human-made art, especially if you're trying to make something detailed and specific, like what I want it to see in my jigsaw puzzle. I don't feel the generator delivered on my prompt. However, I do worry about where this is going, and I fear that people will not want to share their art with the world in worry that it'll be used without their consent or any compensation. In conclusion, I actually feel really guilty about this and very conflicted. And I even thought that maybe I should hire a local artist to redo my prompt as a painting or, or a, a drawing and, and pay them appropriately for their work. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!